today the topic for discussion is what to do when there is no response to diuretics what are all the important parameters as a medicine resident you have to look for so in the world it is not an uncommon scenario where the first year or second year resident comes look at the output and whenever the output is less load the patient with lasix or uh, titor if the frosamide or torsamide is already going at a particular dose the resident won't be hesitating to raise the dose rather than probably double the dose or sometimes make it as a infusion despite the diagnosis whether the ak or secret is there many at times the need for doubling of the dose might not be required if the other parameters of diuretic resistance is there so what are all the things you have to look for whenever there is no response to diuretic how to define or say there is no response whenever the edema is not settling down whenever the expected outcome in the form of urine output is not there since the video is intended for the medicine resident i don't think i have to explain in detail about what is diuretic non response first whenever the expected response or the urine output is not increasing with the diuretic most common scenario the patient might not be in volume overload the patient might be volume depleted the patient might not be having adequate fluids in the body if you give diuretic on top of it there is a chance of aki the di drug induced or diuretic induced aki can happen and this is very very common in the casualty or even in the uh, medicine wards where the first point of contact with the residency is the patient many a times thinking the history the patient gave since last so many hours so many days my urine output is less straight away go for a low dose of diuretic or high dose of diuretic so at this point of time you have to replace the fluids rather than giving the diuretic actually this is a photo of a video clip that we uploaded a few days back the patient is in severe dehydration as you see in the skin turgor so in this patient even diuretic is not at all required at this point of time so check whether the patient is actually requiring diuretic or not and check the volume status this is the first and the common clinical uh, things which can be missed by the first year or second year even a third year resident the second one probably the resident might be giving the diuretic to reduce the edema but the patient might be having some kind of non pitting edema before checking for this the patient will uh, the resident will be keep on increasing the diuretic dose make sure the patient is having pitting edema or rule out the all the causes of non pitting edema because the diuretic rather than having any benefit it will be more harmful in these situations third one non compliance in the last 24 hours probably the input output charting if you check probably it might be written in the file the drug but the patient might not have received make sure you ask the patient whether the drug is taken or not from the sister or from the relative double sure that patient received the drug even in our opd practice many a times patient will come and say sir we our edema didn't come down at all once we even though the drug was in the prescription many a times there might be a mistake on the pharmacy side they might not have given or the patient might have forgot to take the particular drug so make sure the patient have taken the drug why i have mentioned it as a uh, important point is so this is what you commonly encounter clinically this might not be in the textbook but once you start practicing once you are on the clinical side this you might be seeing day in and out rather than uh, making the patient understand that this drug have to be taken many a times by mistake the drug dose might be doubled so this 
you have to be checking for the fourth one apart from the non adherence to medication the patient might be taking too much salt this is very common in the opd setting where the patient will be saying i am taking less salt but if you ask the family members they will be saying the patient will be taking the normal amount of salt or a high amount of salt so that is why there might not be any response or the expected response in dma reduction weight reduction might not be there so this have to be clearly told to the patient to reduce the salt so taking a detailed history from the attendant plays a important role next most important is the severe hypoalbuminemia whenever serum albumin is low the intravascular fluid might not be there to supply to the kidney to push the fluid out of the body through kidney all because of the loss of oncotic pressure all the fluids might be in the third space so increasing the diuretic dose might not help you have to make sure the fluid come back to the vascular space how to do so you have to find out the etiology of the hypoalbuminemia not going into the details of nephrotic or cld probably a albumin infusion might be required or other measures to bring the fluid back to the intravascular space is required rather than doubling the dose if you keep on doubling the dose the patient might land in aki or a diuretic induced complication situation where further response by diuretic will be very difficult so initial thing should be focused on bringing the intravascular fluid back to the compartment from the third space so whenever the severe hypoalbuminemia is there the patient might not respond so in this situation along with the increasing or building up the albumin probably a serial by step up dose of diuretic might be required so how to approach this situation probably the next video that might be so sixth one gut edema in severe nephrotic patient because of the gut edema the absorption of the diuretic might be decreased so probably the oral route might not work rather than increasing the oral route probably patient might be recurring a iv route another condition so far we have seen the common clinical scenario then coming to the theoretical points which are discussed more in the textbook decreased effective circulating volume by the uh, by heart which lead to decreased supply to the kidney for example in severe congestive cardiac failure the kidney might not respond because of the ckd you have to check whether the drug delivery to the kidney is there or not so in congestive cardiac failure ckd and even in severe hypoalbuminemia the drug delivery to the kidney is uh, compromised so that might be lead to the non response to the diuretic right to one drug interaction for example drugs like nsaid probably an ac inhibitor arb which leads to the hypertrophy of the uh, filtration structures might lead to non response so these are more of theoretical discussion that we will see uh, in detail if we see how uh, while saying how to manage this diuretic resistance and the last one last one is related to the hypertrophy of the renal cells the tubular resorption the concept of diuretic resistant in the uh, nephron itself comes but before that the common clinical scenarios i have discussed starting from 1 to 9 make sure the patient is not in volume depletion causes of non fitting edema how to be checked for why i am mentioning this again because first year residents commonly do this mistake even for a cellulitis i have seen the patient being started on diuretics and even they have raised it to higher dose than to infusion also and it is common in surgical wards also where the assessment might not matching to the pitting and not pitting edema always look for albumin level adherence high or low salt diet whether the patient is following or not 
delivery of the drug to the kidney whether gut absorption is there or not how we know whether gut absorption is there or not because in nephrotic syndrome patient it is very very common the gut edema whenever there is no response probably a nephrotic patient might be recovering an IV form the last two, uh, two or three points or more of a theoretical in-depth discussion might be required at least at, yeah, for the completion of this video you have to know drug interactions and the renal nephron cells hypertrophy because of the long uh, standing effect of diuretic that also might lead to these kind of diuretic uh, resistance or no response to diuretic so at least you have to be aware of the initial important points in your medicine residency so that you won't be uh, directly increasing the dose of diuretic as soon as the sister says uh, urine output is less so that should not be approach you have to always look for these things then proceed to the increasing the dose we will see in the next video regarding how to manage whenever there is no response when these parameters are not there despite if there is no response how to adjust the dose we will see in the next one bye bye